What's up everyone? Welcome to your, uh, it's like 15th or something, uh, tutorial on arrays. And the last one was on arrays, but I promised that I would build an application to show you guys why arrays are actually useful, so that's what I'm going to do now. So all you have to do is follow along and open your mind and just learn. So the first thing that I'm going to do is build an array, just like last time. Uh, let's put five elements in it. And let's go ahead and fill this array with some kind of elements. Uh, let's say the ages of uh, my brothers and sisters. And I don't have five brothers and sisters, so uh, we'll go 21 for me, uh, 18, uh, let's say, pretend I had one that was 47, uh, another one that was 21, uh, is my twin named Mucky, and another uh, baby sister named Four. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So remember, the position number for each of these is zero, one, two, three, four. And you can have these any numbers you want, it doesn't matter. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and build a counting variable. And in case you guys don't know, and by in case I mean you guys don't know because I didn't tell you yet, um, this application is just gonna add up all the numbers in the array for us. So we're gonna be building a for loop later with a counting variable, so that's why I need that. And the last thing I need is a variable to keep the sum of the total, or pretty much the sum or the total however you say it. So now that we got our array and two variables, one for the counting variable and one to keep the sum, let's go ahead and build a for loop. Now our first condition is i needs to start at zero and this is because the first position number of this is going to be zero and it's going to go to four. So let's go ahead and add our next condition, the maximum. i is less than five and we have less than five and not equal to five because it's always going to be less than 5, which is 4. If we put less than or equal to, it's going to try to get that fifth number, and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, there is no 5. It always goes from 0 to 4. Not always, but in this case. And now, let's go ahead, i++, plus plus, since we want to just loop it through one at a time. Don't get anything fancy. So, let me go ahead and, come on, format whatever do this the hard way so wow this is a pain in the butt right now so next we have to write what we want our program to do so let's go ahead and take the total and right now the total is zero so what we want to add to it is loop through let me let me type I can't uh, think and type at the same time and that is our program right there so what this is going to do is it's going to go all right you now have the variable i equals zero so we're going to take the zero with position number which is 21 and add it to the total next we're going to loop through when i equals one so when i equals one we're going to take 18 and add it to the total so whatever 18 plus 21 is and that's going to be the total next it's just going to loop through all of that until we get through all of these right here so just to output something on the screen to prove to you guys that it worked, go ahead and print f. Did I get that right? Yep. Uh, let's go ahead. How are we going to format this? The total number is, and I know I'm spelling everything wrong. I know I spelled number wrong, so don't comment a thousand times telling me. Percent d. Let's go ahead and add a new line. No, we won't. Just kidding, sucker total so let me just run this real quick and then um, I'll explain to you guys exactly what it did one last time so you guys aren't totally lost in the dark so it's gonna loop through and it's gonna say the total number is again num iber is 111 that's exactly what we wanted now one last time let me explain to you guys how exactly this is working the first thing we did is build an array with five elements in it. Now those arrays are listed zero through four just because your computer is weird. The next thing we do is build a counting variable and build a variable to hold the sum of our numbers. We started with the zeroth element in our array and loop through until we got to number four. As you can say, i is less than five, which is four. And this is just to loop through it one at a time. We then took each of those elements and added it into the total variable so it looped through each time and each time it did it added a new number to the variable total 
and at the end you guys should know this by now what we did is simply print out that number so again that is one way that you can use a loop to loop through the elements in your array and this is just to show you guys that array isn't totally useless and you can actually use it for something so this is a very simple program I encourage you guys to build this uh, again I want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel again thank you and make sure to check out my next tutorial